hey y'all it's your girl steph and i'm back with another video today i'm gonna be showing you how i make my good old buffalo chicken dip so we're gonna start off with three chicken breasts in a crock pot yes i am using the crock pot it's very simple and easy i put a little bit of water at the bottom you know just a tad bit and then i'm gonna cover it up and let it cook for about three hours on low And I'm going to go back, check on it, and it's all nice and cooked. And then I'm going to shred it. Using two forks, you just start pulling the chicken apart. Yep, just shredding it. Shredding my good old little chicken. Shredding it, shredding it, shredding it. And while I'm shredding it, I'm making sure there's no chunky or fat pieces in there. You know, anything that don't belong. Anything that's going to mess up the dip. I'm just going make sure i get that out and i'm also going to drain the water out too guys because it's a little bit too much liquid in the bottom of that so i'm going to drain it and then i'm um, going to go back in and make sure the pieces are to a nice size like shred it to a nice size not too big not too small You see, I drink the water out. It's not that much liquid at the bottom. Now I'm putting in my buffalo wing sauce and my ranch. I use a jar and a half of the buffalo wing sauce. And I used about, I think, between 16 and 18 ounces of the ranch dressing. And then I'm just mixing it in, making sure it's getting all in there. And I also used um, a pack and a half of cream cheese. And then I'm just gonna let that melt out for I think it I think I let it sit for maybe another hour. I'll put the cream cheese directly in the middle. It's only one pack right there, but I did go back in and add another half and I forgot to show that on the camera. Sorry about that. So I covered it and I didn't show all of that, but I did cover it, let it sit for a little bit longer. And now I'm adding cheese and I'm gonna mix that up. And I just after I added the cheese, I just let that cook for another 20 minutes just to get the cheese nice and melted and mixed up in there. And once the cheese is melted, oh yeah, I did taste it. <laughs> it was good. So I covered it up and then I got another pan and I'm going to transfer all of the buffalo dip into the pan that you see, as you see. And then I'm going to cover all of it with a nice layer of more shredded cheese and once it's fully covered to my liking I put it in the oven for three on 350 for half an hour and you see it's sizzling around the edges and get it nice and melted but not burnt it's looking real good real real good then i'm going to take a scoop of it put it on a plate and with some nachos and i'm gonna let jasmine taste it and then i got a surprise guests at the end of my video so y'all just go ahead and watch and see their reaction Jasmine is my test taker. Two years ago. Taste, taste tester. I just said that completely wrong. It's good. You sure? Missing something? Hey, you, you need to go ahead. And, hey, hit her up. Get, hey. Send your order in, you hear me? Send your order in right now. You hear me? See, she doing orders right now. Hit up right now. She doing orders. So Get you right must here. like it. Oh, man. <laughs> hey. He was doubting me, y'all. He was hey, doubting me. Make one slap your mama, you hear me? Oh, my God. Rude. 